Since the parachute men were on the show about a year ago, they've gone through quite a few changes. And now there's only Steve and Fiona left from the original lineup. To depart, uh, part company, in fact, with our bassist and drummer. And uh, so, all that's really happened is we've got a new bassist and a drummer, really. There was a, a period of time where we were still gigging, which we did as an acoustic set with just myself and Fiona. So um, now that we have a new rhythm section, all the, the other gigs will be going ahead with the full lineup. I don't see there's a, a big change, but it was an unfortunate part of the ways, really. A lot of people were picking up on the blonde angle. Um, not seeing the complete differences between us and other sort of blonde-fronted bands. And I used to get slightly annoyed by that. Um, it was something I didn't feel I had a lot in common with. Well, obviously, other, other blonde bands didn't feel they had anything in common with. Uh, I mean, I say blonde bands because that's what it was this time last year. There was a big surge of that kind of thing. It's just unfortunate that <laughs> I'd, uh, I was blonde, but I mean, what made I think what made it more unfortunate was in fact it wasn't just a blonde angle, it was a, a girl lead singer, which makes it mm. particularly Yeah, there's annoying. still a lot of um, I feel there's still a lot of kind of sexism in a way and that um, people still say women in, in rock or pop or whatever. I mean there's so many men and always have been. It's that you know, when they, they just pick up on the female thing, it, it as though it's still a freak thing. And that seems to be a lot of what's happened to us. It's just, it's, it's not so anymore. I think we've sort of, like, established that now. Got ourselves established that way. But, uh, yeah, the, the blonde angle was a bit annoying last year. That's just one of those things. I believe that what we're doing is what I see perfection, uh, what I see perfection in a band, um, lyrically and musically. Um, that's what I want, and I see that I'd recognise it if I saw us up there. Um, yeah, there's, uh, there's a, I, I can imagine a lot of people coming into the gig would see uh, our band as something that's um, not too much about these days, just a little combination of things they're looking for in other bands. And um, they'd see, I'd seem to think they'd see a band that <laughs> bridges a gap between, I think, what has become really polarised these days, which is the polarisation of like, you know, either a pop throwaway thrashy band or you're a you're a serious art rock band and there's not too much of a, a crossover so uh, there's a lot of people who come into a gig and say oh yeah that kind of band that's really good I'm glad there's a band like that. Mm. That makes sense to you? Mm. Makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think people underestimate us they tend to think we are a little naive and uh, I mean obviously we want a certain amount of fame things who doesn't um, People expect you to be really like totally arrogant and over the top, and if you're not, that's that you're being naive and you're not going to get anywhere. I mean, I think you know, uh, it's not necessarily. Uh, it doesn't have to be so. What did you think when you read your first review in the papers? Like a school kid. <laughs> God, look. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> yeah. Ringing up my mother and that. <laughs> that was. Um, I have anybody denies that you feel like that, that they're lying. No, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, we weren't totally surprised, because, you know, you, um, it's, it's something you kind of expect, because you think that you know that record's brilliant, and uh, it's just, it's great, and it's appreciated. Um, so we weren't really, I, when we get the good reviews, it, it, it's good, but not totally surprising, I suppose. You know, you, ex you expect it because obviously you believe in what you do. We believe in what we do. I think you look back on it. How do you think you will look back on it? As a paid when I had no money, <laughs> I think, <laughs> at the moment, anyway. Stealing toilet rolls from pubs and stuff like that. Being large riders. <laughs> oh, I remember that gig. Yeah, we got a really good industrial toilet roll from that one. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> very fashionable at the moment to be ecologically aware and uh, uh, so we're a little um we were a little wary of, a little like, wary of suddenly that kind of thing. launching into um an environmental uh, speech yeah because we've been that way minded for many years now and although interviewers might actually get around to asking questions on that now it's uh, we're a bit wary about it now um, mm. they are important views to us and and they do go into some of the some of the lyrics anyway mm. I mean, it, I mean, in a way, I suppose it's, uh, it, it's a very good thing that 
people are more aware of these things now, but um, it's just sad that it's a fashion and it's been brought around by fashion. So it makes us a little bit wary of, of talking about it, really.